Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of cybersecurity. It's no secret that we live in a digital age, right? We're constantly connected, whether we're sharing memes, shopping online, or video calling grandma. But here's the thing. With all this connectivity comes vulnerability. Our reliance on technology makes us potential targets for cyber attacks. Think about all the personal information we share online, our names, addresses, credit card details. It's like leaving our front door wide open if we don't take cybersecurity seriously. So buckle up as we demystify some key cybersecurity concepts and arm you with the knowledge to stay safe online. Let's face it, the bad guys are out there. Cyber criminals are becoming increasingly sophisticated, constantly finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities and wreak havoc. Think about it, a single successful cyber attack can have devastating consequences. Businesses can lose millions in revenue, sensitive data can be leaked, and reputations can be tarnished, sometimes irreparably, because when it comes to the digital world, ignorance is definitely not bliss. Don't worry, we're not going to throw you in the deep end without a life jacket. This video will equip you with the essential knowledge to navigate the world of cybersecurity confidently. We'll explore different types of cyber attacks and how to protect yourself from them. We'll delve into the world of malware, learning about viruses, worms, trojans, and other nasty digital critters. And we'll discuss the importance of strong passwords, multi-factor authentication, and other security measures. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid foundation in cybersecurity, empowering you to make informed decisions and stay safe in our increasingly digital world. So let's dive in and explore the fascinating world of cybersecurity together. All right, let's talk about the bad guys malware. In simple terms, malware is any software designed to harm your computer system or steal your data. There are many different types of malware, each with its own nasty tricks. We've got viruses that can replicate and spread like wildfire. Then there are worms that can burrow into your network and steal sensitive information. That's why understanding how malware works and how to identify it is crucial for staying safe online. Section two, static analysis, peeking under the hood. Imagine you're a detective investigating a suspicious package. In the context of malware analysis, static analysis involves examining the malicious code without actually running it. It's like dissecting the software to understand its inner workings, identifying potential threats and vulnerabilities. Analysts use specialized tools to decompile the malware, revealing its source code and allowing them to study its instructions. That's where dynamic analysis comes in. Section three, dynamic analysis catching malware in action. If static analysis is like examining a blueprint, dynamic analysis is like watching a movie. Cybersecurity experts use virtual machines, also known as sandboxes, to run the malware in isolation. This allows them to observe its interactions with the system, network activity, and any attempts to modify files or registry settings without risking damage to real devices. By combining the insights gained from both static and dynamic analysis, cybersecurity experts can gain a comprehensive understanding of malware, develop effective detection methods, and create tools to mitigate its impact. Section four, real world examples. Putting it all together, let's bring this to life with a real world example. Now a cybersecurity expert might analyze this email using both static and dynamic techniques. Static analysis would involve examining the email headers, sender information, and any attached files for red flags. Dynamic analysis would involve opening the attachment safely, of course, in a controlled environment like a sandbox. By combining these approaches, experts can determine if the email is a phishing attempt designed to steal your personal information or deliver malware to your system. Manual malware analysis, the art of digital forensics. 
Think of manual malware analysis as digital detective work, where skilled analysts roll up their sleeves and dissect malicious code line by line. These digital detectives use a combination of tools and techniques to understand the malware's behavior, purpose, and potential impact. They might start by examining the file structure, looking for clues about its origins or any attempts to obfuscate its true nature. Then they'll dive into the code itself, using debuggers to step through each instruction and observe how it interacts with the system. Manual analysis is especially crucial for dealing with new and unknown threats, where automated tools might fall short. Automated malware analysis speeding up the fight. This approach uses software to analyze suspicious files and identify malicious behavior quickly and efficiently. These automated tools use various techniques such as signature-based detection, heuristics, and machine learning. They compare suspicious files against massive databases of known malware, looking for matches or patterns that raise red flags. This rapid response is crucial in today's threat landscape where new malware emerges daily. Pros and cons, choosing the right approach. Manual analysis provides deeper insights and is essential for understanding complex or previously unseen threats. Automated analysis excels in speed and scalability, making it ideal for handling the sheer volume of malware encountered daily. It's cost-effective and can quickly identify known threats, freeing up human analysts to focus on more complex cases. However, it's time-consuming and requires specialized expertise, making it impractical for analyzing every single threat. Section 4, Real-World Applications, where each method shines. Imagine a security researcher investigating a sophisticated APT or advanced persistent threat targeting a high-profile organization. They would likely employ manual analysis to understand the attacker's tactics, techniques, and procedures, or TTPs, thoroughly. Now, picture an email gateway responsible for scanning millions of messages daily. This is where automated analysis shines, quickly identifying and blocking known malware based on signatures, heuristics, or machine learning models. In essence, both manual and automated malware analysis play crucial roles in the fight against cybercrime. Section 1. Understanding Advanced Persistent Threats or APTs, Stealthy and Persistent Adversaries. These aren't your average script kiddies looking for quick wins. We're talking about highly skilled and organized attackers, often state-sponsored, with their eyes on a specific prize. Imagine a group of expert burglars, not after your TV, but your family's secret recipes passed down through generations. These attackers are patient and persistent, sometimes lurking in a network for months or even years, silently gathering intelligence and compromising systems until they achieve their objectives. Their motives? Think espionage, sabotage, or long-term disruption. Stealing sensitive data, disrupting critical infrastructure, or undermining an organization from within. Section two, anatomy of an APT, unveiling the tactics and techniques. APTs employ a multi-stage approach, carefully planned and executed to achieve their goals while remaining undetected. It often starts with reconnaissance, gathering information about the target, identifying vulnerabilities, and planning their entry points. This could involve anything from scanning public websites to spear phishing emails targeting specific individuals within the organization. Their goal is to remain undetected for as long as possible, achieving their objectives before raising any alarms. Section 3, real-world examples, APTs in action and their devastating impact. The scary part? APTs have been behind some of the most devastating cyber attacks in recent history. Take the Sony Pictures hack in 2014. Suspected to be orchestrated by North Korea, the attackers stole and leaked sensitive data, including unreleased films and employee information, causing significant financial and reputational damage to the company. These examples demonstrate the serious threat APs pose to governments, businesses and individuals.
Section 4, Defending Against the Unseen Strategies for Countering APTs. So, how do you fight an enemy that's practically invisible? Defending against APTs requires a multi-layered approach, combining advanced security technologies with proactive security practices. Think of it like protecting a fortress. You need strong walls, firewalls, intrusion detection systems, vigilant guards, security information and event management systems, and well-trained defenders' security awareness training. By staying informed, implementing robust security measures, and fostering a culture of security awareness, you can make it significantly harder for APTs to succeed. Section 1. Antivirus Software, your first line of defense. We've talked about the bad guys, malware, APTs, the works. Every good defense needs a strong front line, and that's where antivirus software comes in. Think of antivirus software as your digital immune system. It quarantines or neutralizes threats before they can do any damage. Modern antivirus programs use heuristics and machine learning to detect new malware. That extra layer of protection can make all the difference. Authentication, proving you are who you say you are. Imagine trying to enter a secure facility. You'd need to prove your identity. Authentication verifies you before granting access. The most common form is the password. It's like a secret code only you know, but passwords can be cracked or stolen. Use strong, unique passwords for each account. Think of it like a sturdy lock. Multi-factor authentication, MFA, doubling down on security. What if someone steals your password? MFA comes to the rescue. It adds an extra layer of security. First, enter your password, then provide a second form of authentication. Even with your password, they can't access your account. Section four, staying safe. Practical tips for a secure online experience. We've covered antivirus software, authentication and malware analysis. Cybersecurity is about being aware of risks and taking steps to protect yourself. Like driving, know the rules, be aware and practice safe habits. Be mindful online, cautious of threats and adopt safe browsing habits. Use strong passwords, beware of phishing and keep software updated. Stay informed, be proactive and practice good digital hygiene. Ever wonder how websites seem to remember your preferences like your language or shopping cart items? Even when you haven't logged in, it's like they have a little memory bank tucked away somewhere. Well, that's where cookies come in. Small text files that websites store on your computer to remember information about you. Think of cookies as digital breadcrumbs you leave behind as you browse the web. They contain bits of information about your browsing activity, like the websites you visit, the links you click, and even the items you add to your cart. Now, before you start picturing delicious chocolate chips, let's be clear, these cookies aren't edible, but they can be just as tempting for websites looking to track your online behavior. Not all cookies are created equal. Some make your browsing smoother and more personalized, like a bakery remembering your usual order. Cookies can remember your login credentials, but some track your online activity, like salespeople noting everything you look at. This data is used for targeted advertising. Imagine trying to find a friend's house without knowing their street address. You'd be wandering around aimlessly, right? Similarly, computers need addresses to locate and communicate with each other on the internet. That's where domain names come in, the human, readable addresses of websites. Think of domain names as the street names of the internet, making it easy for us humans to remember and navigate to different websites. Instead of memorizing complex numerical IP addresses, which we'll get to in a bit, we can simply type in memorable names like google.com or facebook.com. Domain names are structured hierarchically, with the most general part on the right and the most specific on the left. For example, in www.example.com, .com is the top level domain, TLD, indicating a commercial website. Example is the second level domain, and www is a subdomain.
The internet's phone book IP addresses explained. While domain names are great for humans, computers need something more computer friendly. That's where IP addresses come in. Unique numerical identifiers for every device online. Think of IP addresses as phone numbers for devices. Your computer uses IP addresses to send and receive data. There are two main versions, IPv4 and IPv6. IPv4 looks like this 192.168.1.1, while IPv6 is much longer and uses hexadecimal notation. The Domain Name System, or DNS, is the Internet's phone book. It translates domain names into IP addresses, allowing connection to websites. Exploits Unlocking the weak points. Picture a medieval castle, seemingly impenetrable with its towering walls and fortified gates. But what if there's a hidden passage, a weakness in the defenses that attackers could exploit? That's what exploits are in the digital world. Clever ways to take advantage of software vulnerabilities, those chinks in the armor of our digital fortresses. Imagine a software program with a flaw in its code, a missing lock on a door, if you will. An exploit is like a skeleton key that attackers can use to bypass security measures and gain unauthorized access to your system. Exploits can take many forms, from malicious code injected into websites to cleverly crafted emails designed to trick you into revealing sensitive information. They're often the result of programming errors, design flaws, or even misconfigurations that leave systems vulnerable to attack. Zero-day exploits, the unknown threats. Now imagine that hidden passage in the castle is a secret known only to a few. That's the danger of zero-day exploits vulnerabilities that are unknown to the software developers, leaving systems defenseless until a patch is released. It's like a ticking time bomb, as attackers race against time to exploit these vulnerabilities before they're discovered and patched. These attacks are particularly dangerous because there's no way to defend against something you don't know exists. Zero-day exploits are highly sought after by cyber criminals and nation-state actors, often fetching hefty sums on the black market. They provide a significant advantage, allowing attackers to infiltrate systems undetected and wreak havoc before anyone realizes what's happening. Section 3, Firewalls Guarding the Digital Gates. Thankfully, we're not defenseless in this digital battleground. Just like those fortified gates protecting the castle, firewalls act as the first line of defense for our computers and networks, controlling incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. Think of a firewall as a security checkpoint, scrutinizing every piece of data that tries to enter or leave your network. It examines the source and destination of the traffic, the type of data being transmitted, and other parameters to determine if it's safe or potentially harmful. Firewalls come in different forms, from hardware devices that protect entire networks to software programs installed on individual computers. They act as gatekeepers, blocking unauthorized access attempts, preventing malware from infiltrating your systems, and keeping your data safe from prying eyes. Section 4, Vulnerabilities, the chinks in our armor. Despite our best efforts, no system is completely impenetrable. Vulnerabilities are those inevitable weaknesses, those tiny cracks in the castle walls that attackers can exploit if we're not careful. They can arise from various factors, including programming errors, design flaws, outdated software, or even misconfigurations. It's like leaving a window unlocked or a back door ajar, seemingly small oversights that can have significant consequences. That's why it's crucial to stay vigilant, regularly updating our software, patching vulnerabilities, and following security best practices to minimize our attack surface. It's about being proactive, not reactive, constantly strengthening our defenses to stay ahead of the ever-evolving threat landscape. Staying safe in a connected world. Practical tips and tricks. We've journeyed through the world of cybersecurity, explored threats from malware to APTs, and learned tools to combat them. Knowledge without action is like a smartphone without Wi-Fi. Staying safe online doesn't require a degree in computer science. Simple habits can significantly reduce your risk, like locking your front door, a simple action that reduces risk. Simple steps for a safer online experience, your cybersecurity checklist. 
create strong, unique passwords for all your online accounts. Use a mix of letters, numbers and symbols aiming for at least 12 characters. Be wary of phishing, scams, emails or messages that trick you into revealing personal information. Double check sender addresses, hover over links and keep your software up to date. The future of cybersecurity evolving threats and cutting edge solutions. As technology evolves, so does the cybersecurity landscape. New threats emerge, old tactics refine and the battle rages on. AI powered attacks are on the rise, creating targeted and evasive malware. But the industry is fighting back with innovative solutions. Next Gen Antivirus uses machine learning to detect and neutralize threats in real time. Biometric authentication adds a layer of security for our devices and data. Level up your cybersecurity game. Resources for continued learning. Cybersecurity is an ongoing process of staying informed and adapting to new threats. Tons of resources are out there to help you level up your cybersecurity game. From websites and blogs to podcasts and online courses, deepen your understanding and stay safe online. Knowledge is power. It's the most potent weapon in cybersecurity. And that's a wrap. Remember, staying safe online is everyone's responsibility.